I am for the prisoners at the bar. In the words of the Marquis of Beccaria, if by supporting the rights of mankind, I shall save from the agonies of death one unfortunate victim of tyranny or of ignorance equally fatal. His blessings will be sufficient consolation to me for the contempt of all mankind. When people are taxed without representation, they are sometimes to feel abused. And sometimes they may even rebel. But we must take care, lest, borne away by a torrent of passion, we make shipwreck of conscience. Prisoners must be judged solely upon the evidence produced against them in court and by nothing else. And the evidence we have heard speaks plainly enough, gentlemen. A sentry's post is his castle. And to attack it by English law is an illegal act. Soldiers so assaulted may defend themselves to the death. Now the people are crying. Kill them! Kill them! Knock them down! And they're heaving sharp, cutting ice, oyster shells, clubs. What are they to do? Behave like, like stoic philosophers lost in apathy? Disregard these uniforms. Consider the men who wear them. Consider yourselves in such a situation and judge if a reasonable man would not fear for his life. Facts are stubborn things. See, whatever our wishes, our inclinations, or the dictums of our passions. They cannot alter the state of facts and evidence. And we see the law on the one hand is inexorable to the cries and lamentations of the prisoners, but on the other hand, it is deaf, deaf as an adder to the clamors of the populace. Gentlemen of the jury, I submit to your candor and justice, the prisoners and their cause. <laughs>